Warning, the Savage Nation contains adult language, adult content, psychological nudity. Listener discretion is advised. And now, America's most exciting radio talk show, The Savage Nation, home of unprotected talk, borders, language, culture, and here he is, Michael Savage. It's disgusting what's happening to our country. We are a dumping ground for the rest of the world. We are. This is The Savage Nation, Donald Trump and Frankie Lane to open the program. Yeah, we are a dumping ground, the toilet bowl of the world, the laughing stock of the world with, uh, well, I can't say it. It's a family show. Let's say the attendant to all of this, Barack Obama. Barack Obama has brought three million. No, sorry. There have been three million Muslims admitted to America since 9-11. He only let in a million, not a million. Now, let's say Obama rushed in a million Muslims since he became president. So, well, they're not all terrorists. Of course not. So let's say it's 1%. What is 1% of 3 million Muslims admitted since 9-11? Do the math. 1% of, of 3 million is how much? I think it's 30,000, right, if I'm not mistaken? So let's say it's not 1%. Let's say it's 0.1%. So that's 3,000 of the 3 million are jihadists or have become jihadists. That's 3,000. That's a lot of people. You say, well, how could it be? Well, it seems like every other week there's another jihadist arrested in America, another so-called homegrown terrorist, another so-called uh, convert to radical Islam, another good boy whose mother was shocked that he was reading those, those uh, books that told him to become a killer. They had no idea he was making a pressure cooker bomb in the toilet. No idea whatsoever. She thought he was learning a pot roast recipe. She thought her little boy Ahmed was going out to learn how to make a brisket and become a good American. That's what's going on in America. Welcome to the Savage Nation. And now let's look at Black Lives Matter. Kentucky cop killer was a Black Lives Matter activist. Did you know that? Didn't make it to your local rag? Kentucky cop killer was a Black Lives Matter activist. Okay. Here's another one you may not see, but it's on from the Daily Caller on michaelsavage.com. America's heroin epidemic fueled by flood of illegals. Here's another one for you from Jihad Watch. Minnesota Muslim suspected of jihad recruitment given school bus driver's license. Here's another one for you that didn't make it to your local rag from the Daily Beast, a liberal uh, source. The shady family behind America's Iran lobby. They actually greased the skids to make sure that Obama sold America down the drain and threw Israel to the wolves. Here's another one. Remember, we had global warming yesterday, and then it poured in L.A. They were shocked, just shocked. Shocked. Subways were flooded. The culverts are overrunning, over, overrunning in L.A. Did you know that? Freeways were shut down. Mud flows in Orange County. What the heck are the warmest going to do today? They have to rewrite the script. Well, well, wait a minute now. Those floods and that mud. See, we told you that global warming would lead to this uh, kind of thing. At least eight people were pulled into rain-swollen San Gabriel River on Tuesday as a storm drenched Southern California, flooding freeways, knocking out power, and sending mud down Orange County hillsides. It's so powerful, there's nothing you can do. It's similar to being caught in a rip current in the ocean, said Inspector Chris Reed of the fire department. River was race raging. Mud was flowing. Highways were closed. The hills were swamped with water. And the warmest are nowhere to be found. Nature corrected itself. I was in L.A. a week ago, looked at the poor parched hillsides, felt bad for the lizards and the birds and the snakes and the snails, and I said, boy, are they, are they thirsty. And I kept saying I pray for rain. Now, of course, it's I who brought the rain. That's what I'm saying. I, because I prayed for rain, God rained on L.A. Yeah, it was the flash rain for because I, I prayed. That's right. Unbelievable that rain came, isn't it? God, they can't control the weather. They just can't control the weather. And they, they control the sheeple in America pretty good. So when you have a psycho, a retrovirus like this in the White House, who has gotten away with virtual murder and can control the people and control the opposition party, owns the press, he figures he can control the weather too. If only the weather are held until the Pope arrived, then that lying lout from Rome could have gotten away with his big lie. 
It's God reigned in order to tell a pope that everyone knows what he is. Your pope. Pope blames refugee crisis on God of money and a socioeconomic system that is bad. He is a Marxist through and through. He's a psycho Marxist. In an interview with Portugal-based Radio Renascença, aired yesterday, the false prophet Pope Francis, a former bouncer, declared that the current refugee crisis in Europe is being caused by a bad, unjust socioeconomic system that worships the god of money. Well, Mr. Francis, I have a question for you. Here's the question. If it's the god of money that caused this, why are all those refugees running to Germany and to England? Isn't it for money, Pope? They're not running away from money, are they? They're running to money, aren't they, Pope? And by the way, since we're talking about money, Mr. Pope, the Vatican is the largest holder of gold in the world. Why don't you sell some of your gold reserves and help the Syrian refugees? And by the way, Mr. Pope, you're talking about the shanty towns in big cities that are being caused by deforested, deforestation from global warming. Where does he get this crap from? This is the kind of elementary garbage that they teach in colleges today. Pope Francis said that refugees from rural areas are being deforested and driven into big cities. He said, why are shanty towns formed? Why are shanty towns formed in big cities, says Mr. Pope? He says, it's the people who come from the country because they have been deforested. They have made a mono cultivation. They have no work and they go to big cities. And he said, the Pope is at war with itself. Piecemeal, a war against the earth, the environment, the glaciers are melting. In the Arctic, says the meteorological po po pope, the polar, gear, polar bear goes increasingly northward to survive. And of course, the pope goes increasingly southward to survive because that's where the gullible, the gullible live. Gull gullible travels, you see. He has got to go south to get the gullible. No one believes him anymore in the north. So the refugee crisis is based on the god of money. Bad on just socioeconomic system says the communist pope. How could you people not see what this is? Anyway, don't call me on it. I'm just giving you an example of how screwed up the world is. It's so screwed up, it's unbel unbelievable to me. This pope will get along perfectly with Obama and Bernie Sanders. How could you Catholics not see this? If you've read your Bible, you know there's nothing in the Bible about confiscation and redistribution. Nothing. It's from Karl Marx. Everything that Jesus taught was about freely giving rather than what this communist pope is pushing. And why, why doesn't anyone ask him how many refugees from Syria or Africa the Vatican is going to take in? And by the way, the bad, evil, unjust socioeconomic system that this communist pope hates is called capitalism. This is the system that has brought unparalleled prosperity and freedom to billions. The socioeconomic system that this throwback pope favors is called communism. That is the system which enslaved and murdered hundreds of millions. Is there not a leftist cliche that Pope Francis will not embrace? Who is writing the script for him? And by the way, Pope, one last question for you and your leftist minions. Why is it that most of the people who are fleeing communist countries risk their lives to escape the capitalist nations? You know anyone trying to get into North Korea? You know anybody trying to get into Cuba? Oh, my goodness. Not one word about radical Islam from the Pope. Not one word from this left-wing nut about the dangers of radical Islam, the militarization, the militarization of Islam, the burning of churches, the enslavement of Christian girls, the rape of Christian girls. Not one word from this communist Pope. No wonder he's been invited to speak before Congress. And that's the opening to the savage nation. By the way, hold on, we have some other things to tell you. In about one hour and 15 minutes, we're going to have a columnist on from the San Francisco Chronicle to give us the background on why Willie Brown, former mayor, took on a high-profile domestic violence case. This is a shocking story. A, a digital ad entrepreneur named Gurbach Shalal beat 45 felony domestic violence charges in San Francisco after he allegedly punched his girlfriend a hundred times over half an hour in his Rincon Hill penthouse, all recorded by in-home security cameras. Well, they shopped it to Willie Brown, who asked for a million-dollar retainer. 
million dollar retainer. And guess what happened next? The corrupt criminal defense maintained that the tape showing the beatings had been illegally seized by San Francisco police without a warrant. In other words, they didn't deny that it was on tape. They had the tape thrown out. Then the girl got frightened into, into, into testifying. Case was thrown out. Now, this is the second high-profile woman-beating case in San Francisco. The, the sheriff, Murray, uh, Murky Kami. Sheriff Murky Kami also got off on it. What is it about this double-talking hypocritical, hypocritical city that is the most hypocritical, corrupt city in the world? Here are two high-profile cases of woman-beating. Both were gotten uh, away with in a city that espouses... Gay rights, women's rights, Muslim rights, this right, that right. Don't you see the big lie for what it is? Can you name one other city where a sheriff would do what he did to his wife and still be sheriff? Were it not for the corrupt populace in this dumb city of mine? Have you ever seen a story like this where there's video of a man beating a woman and he walks because they shopped it to the right judge? You know, a municipal judge in San Francisco is sort of like a judge in the Old West. They used to give a guy a, a badge and make him a sheriff in the Old West. In San Francisco, they give him a corned beef sandwich and make him a judge. Then they own him for life. They give him a corned beef on club and a free beer, and he becomes a judge for life. That's San Francisco justice. So, look, not my story. Phil Mateer wrote it, fine columnist. I'm shocked that it got published. I'm actually stunned that it was published in the San Francisco uh, Chronicle. I was stunned that the Willie Brown, wholly owned newspaper of Willie Brown dared publish it. He doesn't own it, of course. It's just his personal mimeograph sheet. I don't know how the story even got into SF Gate, but it did, and now it's being talked about across the country, and people are saying, why are there no federal charges being brought? You know, how come it is that when a cop does anything questionable and he is found not guilty by a local court or a local jury, whatever the case may be, the uh, Justice Department, the U.S. Federal Justice Department moves in and then recharges the case as a federal case. Cop uh, sneezes and breaks someone's uh, uh, hangnail. Federal case brought even if he's found not guilty. But here's a case of domestic violence. Videotape exists, which is thrown out. And the guy basically walks because they bought the judge, it looks like, to anyone reading the story. Where is the federal government? Where is Loretta Lynch? She could really make a name for herself as a fair-minded attorney general, they're saying. Where's Hillary Clinton on this, the great defender of women? She could make a real name for herself on this. The answer is they're all part and parcel of the same corrupt Democrat socialist machine. And by the way, where's Gavin Newsom on this? Where's any twosome Newsom on this? Answer, nowhere to be found. He's part of the same corrupt machine. Nice guy, though. Wonderful family, man. Very nice guy. Yes, it's a clean state. Thank God it rained last night and washed some of the filth away. I'll be right back. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. The Savage Nation is sponsored by Swiss America, the only company I trust with my financial future. Call 800-289-2646 or SwissAmerica.com. It is the uh, Savage Nation. So God deluged Los Angeles last night with uh, unexpected rainfall, knocking out the uh, warmest industry for one day. They all ran in a panic. They didn't know what to do. The drought was something they counted on, very much like the American Cancer Society counts on cancer to stay in business. It's been long said that if they found the cure for cancer, they'd be out of business. So they're actually set up never to find the cure for cancer. Interesting, isn't it, how things work? And then there's the other news. We're being overrun by Muslims. No one seems to know about it. The Muslim president gets away with it because he says he's not a Muslim president. And as I say, there are Muslims who are fighting ISIS. He doesn't seem to be one of them. The Muslim president of Egypt is all out against ISIS. The Muslim president of Jordan is all out against ISIS. They're begging for heavy weapons from your president. We don't know which side he's on, but he doesn't seem to be on their side. Meanwhile, the questionable group CARE, a front group for the Muslim Brotherhood, according to those who have studied them, says that right-wing extremists are a bigger threat than refugees. That's very interesting.